going on everybody this is Derek here with another lost production and you want to stream but don't have a capture card and all Xbox allows you to stream is on mixer we have a solution for that and we'll go ahead and share that secret but first you will need Windows 10 PC and of course an Xbox one and you have to make sure they're connected to the same network second thing before you get started Go down to your settings. Go down to preferences. There, make sure all your broadcast settings are there. Um, are checked. And then you want to go to the Xbox app connectivity. This is where the, the secret lies. Alright, so you want to make sure allow connection from devices. Allow play to streaming. And allow game streaming to other devices. Alright, this is very important. So, you want to make sure all those are clicked over. Second thing we're going to need is OBS. So, now, here we are in OBS. Now, you uh, don't need a webcam. I just had mine up here for uh, a test of something. Anyways, uh, before you start anything, you're like, well, uh, how do I get OBS? Well, to get OBS, you all you have to do is go to obsproject.com or search it in the Google search bar and download the correct OBS in correspondence to your uh, OS. So from there, once you download OBS Studio, uh, open it up, hit settings. Now, uh, you'll type in the services you want to stream to, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, Smashcast, Mixer, Dailymotion, or any of the other options that are on here. They used to have a couple others, but they stopped doing those. So once you go and get that, you'll need a stream key. Well, to show your stream key, you have to go down to your YouTube Creator Studio and head down to stream. Or if you're in Twitch, you head over to the broadcast section and it gives you your stream key there. And it's always marked out. You don't want to share that stream key with anybody. Uh, but once you do that, um, you get that stream key and you pop it in here and you hit apply. Now, anytime you hit that stream button, it will instantly go to uh, Twitch or YouTube, whichever one you put that stream key and services on. So once you put those stream keys and services onto that, uh, anytime you hit the start streaming, it'll do that. Now, what I would highly suggest doing uh, is setting up a start stream uh, hotkey. I, I always set mine up a little bit more complicated just because I have cats and they like to walk on my keyboard and the stream would stop and start and start and stop and there would be issues. So anyways, uh, I set mine up a little bit more complicated to end uh, to end it and to start it. Uh, so you can set that up. The reason you're going to want to set this up, uh, and there's there's two different options here. You can set this up, uh, and then when you open up your app and other things that we'll go into further uh, discussion about here in a moment, uh, you can hit that hotkey and then you'll start streaming. Or you can hit start streaming here automatically and it'll be recording this multi-screen here uh, for everybody to see while you set up the next spot. So after you set up uh, OBS, uh, the settings part, that's the that's the, the kicker there. Uh, once you set that up, the next part, all you're going to want to do is hit uh, display capture. And I've already got mine's display capture. And then this multi-window will pop up. Uh, you don't need the rest of this. This is stuff I was using for another tutorial. So once you do that, you're going to want to go to your Xbox app on Windows PC or Windows 10 PC. Um, now, I don't know if there's a way for this to work on Mac. I know that OBS is offered in Mac and Linux, but uh, I haven't seen or heard anything uh, about that. So now you either a you already you've already been streaming on uh, you already hit that start streaming button or you haven't. So if you already hit that start streaming button, just hit that stream button right there, and it'll say connected to the Xbox. It'll attach the Xbox. Uh, mouse and keyboard won't work on here, so it's not a way around to use mouse and keyboard. Uh, so now you. Everything you want on your Xbox without a capture card. But if you forgot to hit that start button, that's 
start streaming button on your OBS and you're already streaming, you're like, oh man, I forgot to hit that start button. You can't go back to the OBS window without stopping your stream or stopping what you're doing. Uh, so that's when the hotkey comes in help, you know, because if you go hit that stream button and you're like, okay, because you don't want everybody seeing the, the double windows or whatever, whatever it is that you, uh, whatever it is you want to do. Um, so would you like to convert? I don't know. Oh, exchange. Oh, cool. So that's what you do with extra. Anyways, see, I learn stuff every day. I'm sharing it here. So, okay. So there we go. That's pretty cool. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Uh, you would use that hotkey like I made my control all A. And I would start streaming on YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, though, there's no way to add webcam overlays or anything in the OBS while streaming this way. Because you're not using a... Uh, you're not using... Um, actual capture card to display in there using a window capture. Uh, you're going to make sure you want to have good internet. If not, if you say you don't have uh, very good internet uh, and you're like, oh man, my stream's lagging in or out or whatever. When you open up the stream button here, if you come over here, Alright, so uh, you see this little change of quality? There's very high, high, medium, and low. Games like PUBG right now are in beta phase, and you don't need to stress out your internet to the max. You can put it on medium, and 90% of the people aren't going to notice. Uh, so that's a little hit there to help out so you're not stressing out your internet so much so it's not in and out lag um other than that that is how uh you stream to youtube or twitch or any other services that are out there other than mixer from your xbox without a capture card now unfortunately this does not work uh on a ps4 because ps4 has its own in-house uh broadcasting system uh that goes to youtube twitch and daily motion and a few others uh, without a capture card so but for xbox they don't they don't really go over this with us so uh we have to kind of make shift stuff up and uh yeah so this works out great so if you ever want to stream to youtube or twitch and you're just like oh man I, I can't afford a capture card don't worry about it don't let anything stand in your way of your dreams you can still stream without a capture card I am Eric with another Lost Production. I hope this tutorial video was able to help you. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and Godspeed.